Hello everyone, this is The Last Blue here, coming to you with part number 14 of Civilization 4 Beyond the Sword, Caveman to Cosmos mod. It's been a pretty long time since I've uploaded a video, but I have some time off now, thought that I'd pump one out, uh, probably put out another ones, but just before we go here, um, if you guys know who Grimith R is, he started doing a playthrough of this as well. Um, it's really good, he's playing it on Eternity, so... Hopefully in 2016 we'll see the end of that playthrough, but he's an unbelievable Civ player. Um, he's been the base game in Beyond the Sword on very high difficulties. I'm not sure if Deity yet, but he has a lot of good stuff on his site, so and on his YouTube channel, so check it out. It's really interesting. But back here, we have three cities. Montreal, which is just grilling. Ottawa, our major production capital, and Ottawa, which is going to be... Our, Toronto, which is going to be our major harbor, and we're getting charters. So, yeah, we're doing pretty well here. I'm trying to remember everything that's going on. So, moths and termites in Montreal, so it's grown enough. Let's start getting some stuff. Here, Piazza San Marco. No. Shung, Zung Hei's Voyage. House of Wisdom. Hadrian's Wall. Free walls in every city. Oh, no, I do want to get... I uh, got the Zoroastrian Parthenon, or Pantheon. Trying frame here. I'll micromanage these a little. We're setting them off. Uh, I'm gonna build a mine. Mattress store, city gatehouse. So, uh, ah, Ottawa's still doing the gazillion productions. A turn. Outrigger was damaged. So, we're pretty far ahead, it looks like here. Some of the people are just getting. Is that writing? Or? I mean, America and the Turks are way behind us. The Apache are, you know, getting there. Uh, we'll quickly build Hadrian's Wall here. We might do a little bit of uh, wonder whoring. Just a little. Uh, here, we're going to go into the city to set them up. Let's start mass producing. Let's see what I want from you. Uh, settler there. Ten maker. Fire of it is. Ten take. Clay pit. Piercing hut, yeah. Sail weaver, that's important. Gambling den. Puppet theater. Uh, minus a little bit of food, but plus the health, which we're gonna need. Hunting dog trainer, yep. War dog trainer. Chocolate's booth. Elephant shrine. So all just really basic things. Ambusher, we don't need here. Slave market, we don't need. Stocks, we don't need. Meeting hall, we are gonna need. Tannery, we're gonna need. Platinum smelter, archery, Buddhist monastery. Yeah, so a lot of these are pretty good right now. Uh, they'll slowly run out of their use, but we're not really teching up extremely quickly. We're in the medieval ages, so... I have time to get all the stuff which we were missing during the classical era. Plus two, plus three, plus ten. Oh wow, um, that's actually pretty good. It's a lot of money that we'll make from that. All these temples we're building too will certainly help, since we have huge religious bonuses. Auction house, uh, smuggler shanty, plus one sickness from hemp, tobacco, opium, alcohol. I think we only have hemp. Uh, a lot of money, which we don't need for that, though. For those negative effects. Indian Temple. Shinto Temple. Public Pool. Plaza. So much stuff to build. So little time. And this is all increasing production. The port we're going to need. Carpet Makers. This is like... I love how in-depth this is, though. You know, I mention it all the time. But it is really interesting. Insurance office, mechanical traps, make damage people. Yeah, cistern is important. Carriage builder. Repair dock. Wow, I didn't even know that we needed to actually build a repair dock. Most of the time they just heal up per turn, but I guess that helps with it. Music school. Bardic circle. Gladiatorial school. Well, we don't have pacifism, nor will we ever have pacifism, so I'm not worried about that. Negative. Bakery. That'd be nice. Potter's Workshop. Basket Maker. 
speed maker. Oh my god. Tree nursery. So yeah, so a lot of these, uh, you know, I was just reading on one of the interest screens about uh, the pollution, which won't become an issue till a little bit later. Um, especially with the industrialization, that's when it's going to get really bad. Directions of wind flows and such, building your cities away from the way that the winds flow will be very important. Uh, do I want that? Why not? It's a pub. National Elephant Breeder. And we are good. Uh, you will have tannery. Can't build anything on those tiles, unfortunately. But our borders are well defended, that's for sure. I don't even know what to build at any of these spots anymore. I'll go over here. doing well. Peace treaty has been cancelled. Enemy archer missed its target. Fabulous. Alright. Let's get on with this. Agricultural tools will help with inputs. These are just more religions, which I don't really need to get right now. Paved roads would be nice. Fire brigades would also be good. Fundamentalism could bring on crusaders, parliaments, heraldry. Well, we're going to need to get fundamentalism at one point or another. Ah, why not? Let's go down the road. Every man shall be taken in prison or in any other way destroyed except by the lawful judgment of his peers. Fabulous. And it's not even what the quote said, but... Wow. So many things I need to get in Ottawa. Sorry, it's a little slow to like queue everything up, but once it goes, it actually makes it a hell of a lot faster later on than me picking new ones every single turn. Scroll maker, cobbler, rock garden, sundial, hippodrome, henna plantation, tannery, lanikadrian, saddler, jewelry store. Yeah, it's a little bit of the same stuff which I'm building here again. Although, there are some different ones. It's because of the different religions and the concrete. Go beyond. Music school. Bardic circle. Ballroom. Tree nursery. Mosaics. Indian cathedral. And Shinto. Alright. Excellent. Here, market. Got ourselves a great profit. I don't know where, I'm gonna assume here. We also got a great scientist. So I can't build anything in these holy cities, because most of them are in this holy city now. Uh, sure. Easiest thing to do is give out holy cities. It massively increases culture and wealth, although we don't really need those. Oh, I could actually build tree nurseries now. Interesting. So I could help combat uh, pollution. I don't know why there's that on top of there. Oh, right. The Magyars. They landed here. Right. Now I'm remembering. Not really too much of a threat. Once we're done everything in Ottawa, which I want to do. Petra has been built in a faraway land. Well, it's not really far away. I think I see every single person on here. But... Still want to adopt Junta and mercenaries. Why? And the Hunnic tribes just got devastated. Ain't happening. Huh. We got a forge. Very interesting, though. Um, I don't really need you for right now. Uh, build a farm, please. Oh, well, there's a cottage on top of that. We're building a lot of stuff per turn here. And the fundamentalism's not going to exactly unlock any buildings or anything. It's more for the Crusaders, which is actually cool. If you go to, if you start running Intolerant, uh, there's a lot of benefits which you can actually get from that. Yeah, sure. Um... 
Oh my god, are they far behind or what? Years ago we got those techs. And now we got a proper farm on top of the corn. Archery ranges and Buddhist monasteries. So Toronto's becoming another production powerhouse, which is just exactly what we want. We're, they're going to be our main naval power. For the most part. Uh, let's see here. Agora would be nice. And Montreal's building. We're getting there. We also have a scientist here who's just kind of chilling. I'm not sure if I'm waiting to uh, research something of importance. I mean, we could just get the rudder now. See, the problem is, like, when you don't play something for a while, you're like, oh! Fire a small ship, but put your freight in a large one. Workboat the Middle Ages. The load, the will be the profit upon profit. So, there are guilds in this, which I'm not sure if I don't have guilds research or not, and what was that just, just kind of popped? Wheat near Toronto. A source of wheat. Of course we have wheat. So there's a lot of, you know, the religious texts now. You're getting most of them. I mean, it makes sense, right? Canada's assistants are crusade against the Americans. They're certainly not calling any crusades. Alright, so intolerant. I'll show you guys what that's all about. It's a really, really, really interesting tech. Or, uh, civic, rather. So you could run a theocracy. So it's unlimited priests, plus 10% birth rate in cities with Judaism. Um, you know, plus one happiness. Lots of benefits from all of the different buildings, which all the different religious buildings. And allows construction of the Hill of Tara again, disables accords, women suffrage, forms its civic republics. Although I'm kind of liking right now uh, the, the republic which we're running. Vassalage, right? Now, on to the actual one. Intolerant. So, plus 25% maintenance. Inquisitor states may purchase non-state religions from cities where state religion is present. Meaning that you could actually build inquisitors, and you could basically uh, purge other religions from your area. So, it's plus 3 happiness in all cities with Judaism. Cities that are connected, train units fast. So there's a lot of things if you're running, like, one religion. But the problem is that it's minus 25% to, uh, to your science there and i can't really scroll over it now it says king's king richard's crusade i'm not gonna actually switch but i'm not sure if that's gonna load anything there guess not so yeah so that's intolerant it's interesting uh and if somebody were to go you know along that road it'd be interesting to see how a game plays out if you're intolerant because you get like the crusaders what's interesting about them hold on, uh, what's interesting about crusaders is they constantly appear. They just keep on popping up in your city, and they're actually pretty powerful units uh, in this stage of the game, at least. So it might be something to consider if you have enemies on the borders, just run intolerant. It's not, like, that big a deal. So we're going to get the Papacy. Naples Crusader. And the prerequisite. So it's a 15 strength is pretty decent. <laughs> Certainly nothing... Uh, it's, it's not amazing, but 15 strength at this stage in the game, you'd be building, I guess, long swordsmen would be some of the best ones. You've constructed a lot of things in Ottawa and Toronto. So after that, Ottawa's going to have to start pumping out some units. We have a lot of free... We have a lot of money to be able to manage them. I'm not worried about that. Ah, uh, no. It's cool, though. You can buy people's equipment. An apiary. We do. I do want to keep some of the trees. Borders of Montreal have expanded, opening up a little bit more room to Obsidian, actually. Huh? Why? Why is this? What? What happened here? Um. Sure. Is this dog worker on automated? Because there's a fort on here again. Huh. Weird. So, yeah, these guys can't even enter our borders, but they're uh, not the strongest people right here. Light crossbowmen and some archers. Nothing that we can't handle, that's for sure. 
It'd be our first little taste of combat. Well, I mean, other than right at the very beginning, where we slaughtered a bunch of animals. Enemy archer missed its target. Yeah, that obsidian swordsman's just, uh, you know, running around. Having a day. Having a blast. Macemen, swordsmen. So swordsmen are ten here. I don't really see. Ooh, omens. Another great scientist. Fabulous. Can you research armor crafting? Sure. The faster that we get out of this era, the better. We're in 1108 AD, so we're remaining. Also, he armed him with a coat of mail. You know, it is, uh... It's a temples. Yeah, these are the last ones being built here in Ottawa. I remember it. Oh, Suleiman has completed Zhang He's voyage. Hmm. That's fine. Not, uh, not that big a deal. City and Swordsman... Plus 28, plus 36. So we have a pretty good lead. And he's got his chief sleepy eyes. Can join city of citizen, great merchant, instructor. Can construct, agricultural. Sure, let's pick him up. Because most of our buildings are done here. You are going to build an apothecary shop. Just going to run down the list with them. Finish up some roads down here. Canaanite temples and fortune tellers. Yeah, most of the temples are being attacked. Or, whoa. Attacked? No, built. Looks like that road is not completed yet. Don't know why. Free church. All right. So now with the papacy, we get another opposite to intolerant, which is free church. Free church plus 30% birth rate in cities with Judaism can build special units without monasteries. State religion increases... A decrease of rebelliousness, stay without, increases. And, you know, just little stuff. No, nothing really that big. Uh, it's just kind of, you know, just a free, free church. This is a lot of money and extras that you get for this. And, but it's the construction buildings, which I like, that, that, that are 15% faster. And allows constructions of all the same things. It's just, uh, and there's no real benefits anywhere here to anything else so you know might as might as well heraldry look at heavy cavalry alfonso henrique baby sees none other than the ghosts of the deceased roman empire sitting crowned upon the grave thereof so we got ourselves a oh we could get tamed bears <laughs> see what we got down here against wang shen's workshop now we gotta build all the extra little things. The Legend of Forty Thieves has attracted treasure hunters and tourists to the area, boosting local commerce. Interesting. So he can do a lot of things. This is our first um, hero unit, kind of. So we're gonna upgrade him. Combat promotions and such. Uh, cover promotion. A lot of cover promotions. So, he could join the city as a citizen, as a great merchant, or as a great military instructor. Or he could kind of do these agricultural achievements, industrial achievements, commercial achievement, scientific achievement, political achievement, cultural achievement, or military achievement. Or I believe he can also fight. I'm not 100% sure about that, but we could check. Go over here. We'll have to check. I want to get Wang Shen's workshop because that's going to be a nice boost to our science, which is certainly not lacking. We're running at full science right now, but I'd like to run a little bit faster. Outrigger was destroyed. Ooh, what a loss. Um, let's see, Carpenter's workshop. Enclosure, big cat. 
No, I really don't need any of these. So yeah, they can't attack. All right, so he's going to be our leader for taking this new area. We're going to get the obsidian. And once honor was done with Wang Shen's workshop, we will begin our assault on the Magyars. Oh wow, it's already been 20 minutes. So once this loads, I will call on an episode. Ooh, what to build? Siege Ram is not really necessary. Mammoth Rider. It's still so powerful. Um, like Pantheon, I could still build all this stuff which I didn't build before. Scarborough Fair. Heriopolis Sawmill. I do want to build that. Trade Fair. All these different culture ones. Um, I know I'm running a little bit over my normal time, but I want to queue up some stuff here. 13 for Heavy Swordsman. All right. So we're going to get three heavy swordsmen should be fine. Plus the leader should be able to slaughter those guys. I don't really see a problem with that. Um, Firebatis. Piercing hunt. Rain dance. War dance. I don't know why you don't have any of those. Stable will be really good. Florist. Mercenary stables. Smoky shanty. Calligraphy school, plaza, because we didn't get the mosaics, perfume, chemical traps, edge song, and Hellenic pantheon will be what we're going to build there. They're still building lumber mills. And you are going to build a astrology school. And we finished Wang Shen's workshop. Wow, what a nice picture. All right, so thank you for watching, everyone. This has been The Last Beluga with a slightly longer episode. Hopefully, start to make up for all the time that I missed. Thank you all for watching, everyone. This has been The Last Beluga. Out.